A car oh. plowing into a police cruiser right in front of our camera. Crazy chain of events in East Village. It's still going on at this hour. Police are looking for the car thief who kicked off that wild scene. 10 News anchor Brian Schlonsky is live at 16th and F with how all of this unfolded. Brian? Well, Kim, chaos, that is the one word I could use to describe the series of events that unfolded right here on this block. Take a look behind me. This hearse, that was involved. It's still sitting here. Doesn't look to be going anywhere anytime soon. And here on the ground sitting with it, broken glass, busted taillights, and a whole bunch of debris. Mayhem in the East Village. It started with a crash. This silver Mercedes slamming into the back of a green Subaru then hitting this, a hearse, from the Haunted Hotel. It was just parked on the side of the road. From Sky 10, police show up in force. What they didn't know, the crashed Mercedes was stolen. That driver took off instantly. But police did find someone inside, this man. Investigators say he showed up and started looting the crashed car. Officers had to restrain him to a stretcher and put a bag over his head so he wouldn't spit on them. You know, this is all messed up and somebody else's windshield is laying over here. Remember the hearse? Adam uh, Reichman well, owns uh, it. A gift see. from the haunted hotel after working there a decade. I look over and there's a, a, a dude coming from this direction down the sidewalk and other people yelling, that's him, that's the guy right there. When he saw the driver run away, he chased him with his phone out. Watch the suspected car thief dip around a corner. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. You just hit my car, bro. Your car? Yeah, my hearse. Okay. Reichman tries to get his info, but dizzy right now. seconds later, the suspect again disappears. Police had the intersection locked down. That's when the rain came, and with it, another crash. Another driver losing control and careening into a squad car. I couldn't stop in time because it was right there. I had, it had no lights, no nothing on. Lorette Watkins says she didn't see the car or the officer diving out of the way. Without a car, now she too is stuck in the rain. So I just don't know what to do. And the only video of that second crash taken by our photographer, the man behind this camera, Derek, he ended up having to give that video to police to use as evidence. We are live tonight in East Village, Brian Shalonsky, 10 News. That was wild indeed. Thank you, Brian.